Hi class! In this video we're going to add some images to our instruction sheet for our battleships game. We're going to add two, one into the long column and one into the bottom. There are two ways to add images. The most common is from the insert menu where it says image. It gives you a lot of different options such as uploading from your computer or some of these other options. But in this video we're going to do it a little bit differently. Instead we are going to use the image command. So we open a parenthesis and it shows some of the what we need. We need a URL, so the web address for the link. So I'm going to head over to the Chrome Academy site and I already have the image in the lesson and I'm going to copy the image address. You can find that by right clicking. So we'll head back over. Now notice that that is in quotes. The URL is in quotes, so I'll open a quote paste the URL, close the quote, and hit a comma. Now it wants us to decide what mode we want. I'm going to choose mode 2 for now and I'll tell you why in a second. And then we'll close the parentheses and hit enter. What mode 2 does is allow the image to stretch or compress if we adjust the cell. Let's contrast that for a second if we had used mode 1. As you can see, the image doesn't adjust its size. Okay, we'll put that back to mode 2. Now we're going to insert a drawing. We're going to make our own drawing for this next image. So go to the insert menu, choose drawing, and the drawing menu pops up. Now there are a lot of different options here, but the one that we're going to use is in the shapes button. And we're going to click on that and then go in and choose the rectangle tool. Now I'm going to try and make the rectangle the same size as the cell box that we made previously. I'm not going to get it quite right, but we'll do the best we can. Okay, it ended up blue. I don't think I want blue, so I'm going to change the fill color to a nice dark red. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we need to add some text. Click on the text box tool and draw out a box for you to type in. It doesn't have to be very big. I'm going to type in, let's see, battleships. Um, oh, we should actually name it battle sheets because we're in Google Sheets. Okay, now let's resize this text. We'll choose something large. We might have to adjust it later. And what we should also do, it's a good practice, is to make the text box the size of our text. Okay, you see that little ball on the top there? We're going to click on it and then rotate around. If you want it to snap to every five degrees, you can hold the shift key. It'll help. Okay, click and drag and move your drawing over, your text box over, and center it in your drawing. I think it would look better if the text were white. So I double click on the text and I go into the text color area and I choose white. If you don't see it, it might be under that more menu. Okay, that looks pretty good. Click save and close. Now notice it didn't fit in quite right. So all you have to do is click and drag it into the right spot and use the handlebars on the edge to stretch or compress it as needed so it fits in the box. Drawings let you adjust in several ways. You could double click and edit the drawing again if you needed to. All right, the last thing we're going to do is rename our sheet. Let's rename this instructions because it's our instruction sheet. And that's it. Our instruction sheet looks pretty good, doesn't it? The last thing that we could do is hide the grid lines. We'll talk about that in another lesson, but you could do that now if you wanted to. Until next time.